Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you did check out our previous video on how to go about scholarship for your masters with sample profiles. Now today, what we have in hand is very, very interesting. Off late, we've been getting tons of requests in our webinars where students want to know what they need to do to get their dream MS admits in these three specializations. And can you guess what they are? Of course, the artificial intelligence, machine learning and robotics. My name is Vishnu and I'm a senior GRE and admissions expert here at GREH and today we're going to discuss the three important things. Number one, what is artificial intelligence? What is machine learning and what is robotics? What are the differences and everything you need to know before you take a decision on which field to specialize in. And then we're going to look at the most popular universities that offer these three important courses. And third, we're going to look at some sample profiles of students who have got admits in these top specializations. And the best of all, we're going to have a free giveaways happening throughout the video. So let's get started. So let's start off today's discussion to exactly understand what these three fields are. The the advent of artificial intelligence now enables your computers to do tasks all by themselves. It includes complex tasks like driving your own car by itself in rush hour traffic, predicting what you're gonna buy online next week, that's creepy right? Or even trade the stock market for you to help you churn out huge loads of money. In fact, as you're watching this YouTube video, the AI has figured out what you might be interested in and shows that in your suggested videos. Now that's how AI has permeated technology at every step. So here comes the big question. How do you ensure your skills stay relevant in this entire shift towards automation? It's simple, by being one of the brains behind this automation. Now that's what a master's degree in artificial intelligence or machine learning is going to equip you with. Now who's thinking? Huh? Now before we delve into the universities, the profile requirements, Let's take a step back and understand the differences between these three fields that will help you decide which one would you like to specialize in. Let's start with artificial intelligence. Now this term was coined in the early 1950s by an American computer scientist, John McCarthy, who defined it as making a machine behave in ways that would be called intelligent if a human were so behaving. Now, AI has two important variations, the applied AI and generalized AI. Applied AI is a narrow AI which is used to handle small tasks like recognizing images, translating speech or stock trades, etc. On the other hand, generalized AI is more fluid and can evolve into handling multitude of tasks similar to that of a human brain. This is the part of AI that is closely interconnected with and gives rise to machine learning. Now, Arthur Samuel, the founding father of machine learning and a pioneer of the video game industry, defined machine learning as the ability of the machine to learn without explicitly programmed. So just how big is machine learning? It is estimated that among the billions of dollars invested in AI just the last year, 60% of it went in the way of machine learning. So what machine learning basically is, it's an application of AI built on the idea that we give machines access to raw data so that they can learn for themselves and modify. So that pretty much summarizes the differences between artificial intelligence and machine learning. But how does robotics get thrown in this mix? A robot is any device that does work based on the inputs programmed into a computer. The robots that are equipped to do complex tasks and vary their action according to external inputs are smart robots that use the application of AI and machine learning. To put it in simple words, robots that are equipped with AI and machine learning are capable of their own thought and adaptation. One such example would be the ASIMO, a CMO developed by Honda in the early 2000s. This trio of artificial intelligence, machine learning and robotics combined to form a potent combination that is revolutionizing the way diverse industries work like education, finance, healthcare, nuclear warfare, 
just to name a few. So what does all of this mean for you, the master's aspirant? To give you a context, research from Gartner believes that by 2020, AI and machine learning will have created more jobs than they have destroyed. 2.3 million new jobs created versus 1.8 million jobs made obsolete. So by now you would have realized things have never looked better. If you're a master's aspirant looking for MS in any of these domains, you're on track to catch the wave of automation that will take you strides in your career. According to top university officials across Europe and USA, the number of applications for these specializations have doubled, if not tripled in few cases. Here's a look at a few of the statistics that show the interest towards this field across Europe and Asia. At University of Amsterdam, for instance, the number of Indian applicants have tripled in just the last year. The University of Sheffield in the UK has seen a 55% surge in the Indian applicants for AI and it's the same case across Belgium, Netherlands and various universities in Europe. The story is no different for American institutions as well. For example, Carnegie Mellon University, ranked 6th for engineering and various other tech disciplines, has about 9 out of the 20 core programs centered around artificial intelligence and machine learning. Interestingly, it is these programs that receive the highest number of Indian applicants, as high as 10,000 students a year. Talent is in short supply for this relatively newly born industry, which is why specialists like you are in demand. So if you're planning to pursue a master's in computer science in this 21st century, you know which field to specialize in to make your resume future-proof. So moving on to the next segment, which is the most interesting one in today's video, is the universities offering these top programs and their requirements. To start with, some of the schools in Europe that you can come across is University of Oxford, TU Delft Netherlands, TU Munich Germany, University of Sheffield UK, Cambridge University and a lot more. Similarly, if you look at Canada, University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, University of Waterloo, Simon Fraser and a lot more universities there as well. And the best part, moving to USA, we have Carnegie Mellon University, Stanford, MIT, UC Berkeley, Harvard, Texas A&M and a lot more universities. To make your job simpler, we have compiled an ebook that has the top US universities offering AI and machine learning with the GRE score requirements and other profile requirements. And as a free giveaway, we've also attached a couple of universities across Canada and Europe for your reference in this ebook. Feel free to click on the link in the description and download this ebook right away. So moving on to the next part and the last segment of today's video is to discuss the profiles of students who've got admits in these specializations. Here's a look at our first student, Vipin Kartikeyan. Having done two internships, one of which is in the very, very closely related domain, mining and automation, and having presented a research paper in an international conference, he was able to get an admit in robotics in University of Maryland College Park. Added to that, having got letter of recommendations from two of his assistant professors and one from the CEO of the company where he did his internship, definitely helped him boost his chances for a top admit. The next profile we have in hand is Kartike Sapra. A student with 30 months of work experience with various projects related to the domain and an intern from a reputed government run organization where he worked this project in and around image processing and automation helped Kartike get an admit from MSNCS in University of Southern California. Here's a look at his credentials. There you go guys, these are all the things that you need to know to before you proceed with your applications for these specializations in particular. If you have any more questions that are not solved, feel free to drop it in the comments box. And most importantly, don't forget to download your list of universities for these specializations with deadlines and university requirements from the link in the description. Until then, this is Vishnu signing off. Happy learning.